Hey guys, good afternoon. Welcome to Melissa's Kitchen. Um, I am making a favorite dessert of mine. It's quick, it's easy, and it's cheap to make. Um, it's I'm using uh, sugar-free um, white chocolate Jello brand. Um, this is my all-time favorite. I do low-carb keto, so this is my all-too favorite dessert to eat. So I am making a white chocolate fluff. So follow me and please subscribe to Cook Keto with Melissa and hit subscribe and click that bell to follow me for more recipes. But this is my go-to recipe whenever I have a sweet tooth. It's not only, like I said, quick and easy, but it's very inexpensive and most of the ingredients you have right in your cabinet. So the first thing I did is start to whip up a heavy cream. I'm using two cups of heavy cream. Then I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla and then I'm going to add a half cup of Swerve powdered sugar which is uh, known as connect, uh, confectioner sugar. Now you can add as little sugar as you want or as much sugar as you want. Just make sure it's powdered sugar or confectioner sugar. And I used the Swerve brand which is this right here. And just to make sure when you're keeping it low carb and keto that you're doing a um, the sugar-free Jello brand. Now you can use any brand of Jello that you want. I've used cheesecake. I've I used any kind of um, flavored Jello brand sugar-free pudding. Make sure it's instant. And I've made other fluffs with chocolate mousse. I've even made a butterscotch, but today I'm doing white chocolate. So I just heated up um, two tablespoons of cream cheese and I'm getting ready to add it in my heavy cream. Okay, so I added two tablespoons of cream cheese and I softened it just for 30 seconds in the microwave. Just do it in 30 second increments. It shouldn't take that long being that it's only two tablespoons. And if you have a powerful microwave that's 1200 watt like mine, it, it won't take long. I added two cups of heavy cream and a half cup of confectioner sugar. Once again, I use Swerve, which is this brand right here. Just make sure it's the powdered sugar. You can use any brand you like as long as it's powdered sugar. Now I'm getting ready to add in my um, pack of my sugar-free white chocolate instant pudding mix. And then you just mix this all. And I added um, about a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon of vanilla at your preference. Um, I believe mine was about a quarter teaspoon. So you just want it to have soft peaks like this. Last thing you do is add in your package of Jello mix. So once you add your sugar-free instant pudding mix like this, the last thing that you wanna do is fold in your favorite um, items that you want in there. You can put any type of uh, items that you want in there. In my case, I'm just gonna use some chocolate chips. I do not have white chocolate chips, so I'm just gonna add um, chocolate chips um, and just fold it in. You can add nuts if you want. You can just go wild on whatever you do, but this is my go-to dessert whenever I have a sweet tooth and I'm keeping it keto and low carb. Now you can use any brand chocolate chips that you want. Um, I nor normally use Lily's chocolate chips, but in this case I have um, Hershey's chocolate chips they are sugar free I, um, I'm from Ohio so I find them at my local Walmart so these are zero sugar chocolate chips um, so I'm just using regular chocolate because I do not have the white chocolate chips you can even add a, um, some butterscotch chips I have some minty um, chocolate chips but I'm just going to do plain this time so once you add the amount of chocolate chips you want, I didn't measure it, I just eyeballed it and then I just folded it in with my rubber spatula or spoonula. It should look like this. 